the office of the government spokesman sought to clarify the government's position over the question of cabinet ministers and their assistants who defied the quit directive and took oath of office to their new elective positions. The government now seems to be playing hardball with the ministers and their assistants. There will be no pay for those holding on to office. Will we pay them double salary? Seriously, if anybody, and I want to repeat, anybody tries to pay a double salary, he will be arrested by the law. Because the law can arrest you. You cannot pay somebody double salary. So far, 19 ministers have stepped aside since the order was given. Pressed on to whether the state will compel the ministers who still hold on to cabinet positions after being elected to serve other offices? You know, the deadline is in their conscience. And particularly after knowing, you know, after knowing that they will not get a double salary, I'm quite certain now they are going to decide. Earlier, several cabinet ministers took oath of office, officially beginning their term of office in their respective offices. Mimi, Danson, Mwazo wa Mokulewa, Nikiwa ni Mechaguliwa, Kama Manachama wa Seneti. In this regard of the directive, which demanded that they resign from appointed posts before they are sworn in to their elective posts. And conscientiously discharge the duties of a member of parliament. So help me God. This even as High Court Judge Isaac Lenaola rejected a petition which sought to stop the quit directive until the election petition is determined. Nyongo had argued that the contest at the Supreme Court had extended the mandate of the current government, hence ministers resigning before a final ruling is delivered, will precipitate a constitutional crisis in the country. Professor Nyongo sought the order from the High Court on grounds that ministers and their assistants can only resign once a new cabinet has been sworn in. The matter will come up for full hearing on April 4th. Chris Wongombe, Citizen, live at 9.